What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Teflon Don with the guns, man. I want to bring y'all a little quick tabletop review of the Gen 5 Glock 20. You know what I'm saying? 10 milli. Yes, sir. Big boy 10 mil with the Hollison Optic. You know, MOS version. You know how we coming on the game. Suppressor height sights. Got the Big Boy Chris Vet magazine. You know how we rocking in Georgia. Bigger is better, baby. So, hey. Get a little tabletop review of the Gen 5 Glock 20, man. Show y'all first off, man. This is a big boy. You know what I'm saying? This is a big boy. No cap. Like, look how big he is. Real big guy. This is a 15-round magazine with a two-round um, base plate. So, it's 17 shots of 10 mil, and that's how I carry it. I got some regular clips right there. Um, Two 15 rounds. You know what I'm saying? These are basically range clips or something like that. Just keep laying around. Beat by Chris Vett, you know what I'm saying? 33 Scotty Pimpin' magazine. Got 33 round magazine, the Chris Vett. I had wrapped this with um some gun wrap that I had laying around off another project I had. But yeah, this is 33 rounds right here. Um, a lot of 10 mil firepower, very reliable. You got to make it with the Glock 15 round, of course. And I got this baby full. Like, I put it together myself, so, you know what I'm saying, boom. And one thing I would say, when I was putting it together, it was kind of hard, right? Because, I don't know, it was only taking, like, 20 rounds for some reason. But I shot, once I started shooting it, I guess the spring and inside dropped all the way down like it's supposed to. Because I think it was getting, like, held up right here or some shit. But it dropped like it's supposed to, and then it started working. So, be on the lookout if you're trying to put a Chris Vet magazine inside of your 10 mil or put one together, period. Just, you know, it might get hesitant around this line till you shoot it, it'll loosen up. And a tip will be put oil or some type of, um, yeah, oil or something to lube it up. And then, like, you feel me, put a little oil around the spring or the inside of the uh, housing of the Chris Vet once you put it together. And it should work fine or loosen up once you shoot it. But, yeah, Hollison, um, 507, I think, K or C. One of them, 507 K optic. You know, I got the green one, man. I like green for some reason. Red gets old. I don't have red on a lot of my other guns and stuff like that. I like to go green, but yeah. 10 mil MOS, the Hollis Sun green dot optic on it, man. This thing right here, I love this optic because for one, it changed reticles. Like it can be one of them with the circle and a small micro dot in the middle. But if you hold it down, you hold down the um, minus symbol right here. Hold it down. And it'll change to the dot, right? Or it'll change to just a plain circle. Boom. And that's kind of cool, too. You can co-witness and stuff like that. But I mainly like it on the um, oh, handshake and stuff. Bit more heavy. I like it on the dot where it's a circle and a micro dot in the inside. Bear with me. I don't use an iPhone with one hand. Kind of hard to control the gun and the goddamn phone. But yeah, I like it with the micro dot in the inside. You can't see it. Phone blurry. I like it with the micro dot in the inside though. And you can co-witness. Put the dot on the dot. Boom. Smacking. Very accurate gun. Very reliable. You know Glock's going to be reliable anyway. So yeah, it's a very accurate and reliable gun though. Um, like I say, 15 rounds in a magazine. You can uh, order these two round conversion base plates off like Gun Mad Warehouse or Palmetto or Amazon mainly. Um, you know, anything, Midway, USA, a couple of them places, you know, they'll have these two round conversion plates for GN5, Glocks, 25, I mean, 26s, um, 19s, 20s, like you feel me, base plate them. But once you get this clip and this magazine, you really don't need nothing else. Like, what else do you need besides um 17 10 millimeter rounds and 33? Like, that's 50 shots easy. <clears throat> so, I carry 50 shots to my 10 millimeter easy. I might have this in a bag or in my pocket or something, or even on my waistband. But yeah, you got 50 shots 10 millimeter with a 33 round crease fit and a 17 round um standard clip. And this is a beefy boy, so you got a lot of firepower. Gen 5 Glock 20 with the suppressor height sights. Very accurate. Like, when I was taking it to the range, I wasn't missing quite often. 
It's a very accurate gun. And I got it like on sale from my members club. You know what I'm saying? So I got a membership at the gun on range. So they had a sale going on where they had like a couple of these in stock with for um a reasonable price you did. So I had them um, bought it with the hotless scent on top of it. I ain't put it on there myself. Mine's kind of green dot equipped already. So you know what I'm saying? We already scrapped up and ready to go. And I love that about it. Cause I ain't want to put it on and do all that stuff. Buy one, wait for it and stuff. So I bought the 10 millimeter with the optic. So this is like my third gun I got with an optic on it. I got the shadow system on uh, MR920 Elite and the FN uh, Mark III version with the optic on it. But yeah, 10 millimeter, man, this is the way to go. Big boy stopping power. I ain't trying to go back and forth in no gun battle, man. One and done, you yeah. one hit a quitter. Big boy, um, big boy stopping power, like I said. It's a 17 round right here. Y'all see, I got the hollows and shit. Hollows and regulars in there, y'all see. I'm trying to punch your lights out. I ain't trying to go back and forth. So this ain't no nine milli right here. This big boy 10. Yeah, clips full. 10 milli. Man, that ain't enough shit. You got big goddamn Jerome right here behind you. Y'all see, big boy Chris Vector. Now I see everybody got Chris Vector shit on their Glock. Um, Nine eyes and shit like that, man. Hey, I got one on a 10 millimeter, man. I don't play, really don't play games, game on game. Like, bit by 10 with the crisp bit. I ain't trying to do too much talking. I ain't trying to do too much talking at all, as a matter of fact. I'm you know saying, crisp bit. My bad again about the camera. Like, I'm doing a video on my iPhone. The camera got down, slick broken. So, it keep getting blurry. Sorry about that. But yeah, I love that. It don't have the finger groove. You're going to need some type of support, though, or be strong holding this bit boy with the recoil and stuff like that, plus the Chris Vett with 33 rounds of 10 millimeter. Yeah, that's a bit boy. You're going to build some muscle strength. But, yeah, I like the front sirations, too, to help it. Like, you cock it easier and stuff like that because I normally use my optic and stuff. When I got an optic on my gun, I cock it with the optic. But, yeah, I ain't, this is not a bad gun at all. It's actually a really good gun. I fucks with the 10 mil a lot. Like, I'm interested to see what it really do. Like, like the rapper anti men say, Ryan with some shit. I know for sure a killer battle, nigga. I'm saying there's some shit in Bear Country. Where I live at, Atlanta, Georgia, man, it's really a fucking wolves out here and bears and shit. So I like to be prepared with a bear stopper. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be tough guys and stuff, or you might see a real bear. Who knows? 10 millimeter, the way to go. Optic on it, lined up, cold witness and all that. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong. Plus, you got 33 shots. So, yeah, it's like 5 in the morning, man. I just wanted to do a YouTube, uh, a real video for y'all, because I ain't did a video in a minute. Not a video, a review for this. I ain't did a review on my page yet. And it's just a quick tabletop review video. I want to show y'all the Glocks on it. Gen 5 with the Chris Vett magazine and the Hollison. 507CR Hollison. So, and it got the solar power view on top of it. Solar power system. So, if you um got a dead battery or your low light situation take place, then this should help fill the void in low light situations. It'll grab light from wherever you're in the room, whatever, or power it if it go dead. One of the two. Don't quote me on it. They just um going off the top of the dome. You feel me? So, Hollison 507. And you'll know the difference between the 507 and the 407 because the 407 don't have the um, solo power view at the top. It's just all black up there. And this one does. And then you can take it bright as you want with the uh, up and down, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's at the brightest setting. It's super bright, too. But, yeah, Gen 5 Glock 20, man. Nice gun, very accurate and sustainable weapon. If you think about getting one, you won't regret it for real. Like, I would definitely pick up another one if I had the opportunity to. Yep, yeah, but there she is in all her glory. Glock 20 Gen 5, 10 millimeter with the Hollison Optic. You know what I'm saying? Big boy firepower. So that's like 50 shots just in them two clips right there. And another 30 right here. That's 80 shots of 10 mil. So I carry this around sometimes when I'm feeling, you know, bold and 
you know, might run into a bear when it's cold, you know what I'm saying? It's the winter approaching, so I might um, get me a holster for this big boy or carry it around, but yeah, it's just a quick tabletop review of the GM5 Glock 20, man, for real, for real. You can go ahead and drop some links, I mean, drop some um, likes or drop some comments. Let me know what y'all think, what else y'all want to see on the page, you know. I got a couple more toys in the arsenal. Y'all can check me out, man. You know, I got the LCN, um, Glock 23. I was might do a Glock 23 comparison video because I got a Glock 23. This more compared to the Glock 22, though, because you can shoot 40 cal ammo out of the Glock 20 GM5. Like, you can shoot 40 cal ammo out of any 10 millimeter gun, to be honest. Like, if you got a 10 mil, don't matter what gen or what gun, I've known that you can shoot 40 cal out of it because they are the same as that bullet, but just different um, casing sizes. It's the difference. So, you know, I might do a comparison, show y'all that versus um, this. A Glock, I got a Glock 23. I don't have a Glock 22, so I'm going to show y'all the 23. And they look almost identical besides this is everything my 23 need to be. Like, it got the optic and it has suppressor height sights. Like, my 23 is MOS version, but it don't have the optic already on it, so... I'm working on getting that. But yeah, it's Teflon done with the guns, man. I just want to show y'all the Gen 5 Glock 20. And I'm out.